Hey, 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 hey. It's Crow here. Thursday night, as the crow flies, we are doing Fantasy Star Online for the Nintendo GameCube. That's right, not the Dreamcast, the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, I was really excited when uh, I found out that this was coming out on the GameCube, because uh, it was going to have local multiplayer. Not only local multiplayer, but local up to four player multiplayer. So I can actually share this game with my friends instead of them just watching me play it on the Dreamcast and being bored as hell. So, without further ado, we're going to make a new character and start from the beginning, from scratch. Uh, I had my friend Cody decide what I was going to make here, so we're going to go with a Ray Marl. Uh, that's a human female ranger. Um, so there's three classes in this game. There's hunters, uh, which are like your fighters. Uh, we got your rangers, which are your ranged characters. They're good with guns. And then you got your mages, uh, called forces. So, like I said, we're going to go with a human female ranger, Ray Marl. Um, they've got some... You know, they're, they're not bad. They're pretty good ranged. Uh, they got some ability to use support magic. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and make our character here. God, it's been so long since I've played this game. Let's see, what do I want her to look like? Oh, that looks good. Ooh, excuse me, a little tired. I had a little nap before I started streaming tonight. And I just realized I need to update the title on my Twitch stream, so... Bear with me just a second. All right. So if you're already watching this stream on my Twitch channel, just go ahead and refresh your page really quick so the, uh, the title updates. But other than that, welcome to the stream. Sorry, I gotta do one other little thing here. I just have to send a quick text message. Okay. Sorry about that, ladies and jelly spoons. All right, so yeah, uh, we're okay. So we're looking at our hairstyle now. Let's see. I always kind of like that one. Let's see what else we got. Little pigtails, nah. I always kind of like that one too. Messy ponytail. tell how well these graphics have aged. They're really not that bad. I mean, considering the time they came from, you know. Those are nice. That one's nice. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, we got, like, a braid going on there. Let's see. Uh, absolutely not. We are not Cyclops. It's like Cyclops and a Super Saiyan had a baby. Uh, no. We got, you know, Rebecca Chambers from Resident Evil. Yeah? No. Uh, well, you know what? We'll go with this one. And... We will make her... Make her a ginger. And red. Red hair. There we go. Now her outfit. I'll just start from the beginning here. Uh, no. Mm. Yeah, this one's not bad. I think I usually go with this one. Let's see what else we got.
Yeah, let's go with this one. So yeah, if you're in the stream, if you're on the Twitch channel and you're assigned in, don't be afraid to say hi. Please do. Oh, that changes the camo pattern. That's neat. I like this pattern, though. And yeah, proportion. Let's see. Uh, whoa, that is, like, super skinny. Whoa. I would typically go with short characters. Maybe not that skinny. Though. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now. With this game, name is kind of important. Kind of. Uh, you have a little thing called a section ID, which takes the form of a little badge somewhere on the character's outfit. The section ID isn't just decoration. This also kind of determines what kind of drop bias you're going to get as far as weapons. Um, there's different color section IDs, uh, White Ill, Pink Ill, um, Blue Ill, I don't know. They're all different colors with extra letters on the end for some reason. Um, and I don't remember what they all mean. And uh, since I don't remember what they all mean, and I don't remember what letters give bias towards what colors, we're just going to pick a name. So, uh, let's see. Let's go with, um, let me think. I don't think I'd have such a tough time with this. Uh, yes. Yeah, We'll go with Tink. Alright, so we got Yellow Bows. Our section ID is Yellow Bows. So this doesn't really have any particular uh, weapon bias in this case. Uh, yellow Bows is going to be, if I remember correctly, geared more towards uh, larger money drops. Uh, so the money in this game is called Meseta, so I'll be getting more than the usual amount of Meseta uh, as the game goes on. I don't necessarily know that I'll get that far, but you know. One cool thing about this game, you could play around with the loading screen. We'll just play with Tinkerbell here. Nope. <coughs> Are you Tink the Ranger? I'm Prince of Principal Tyrell. We have a bad situation. We need to act quickly. Did you hear about the explosion on Regal? Very well. Pay attention and listen to me. Well, what if I had heard of that? We've lost contact with Pioneer 1. We have no idea what's happened. We also lost contact with Pioneer Chicken. We've sent unmanned search units, but communication seems to cut off near the surface. What happened on Ragol? What occurred on Pioneer 1? Are the people on board alive? The Council made a decision to send a man search team. You are a skilled ranger. We need your help. We have no choice. We need a place to settle on. Uh, could you... No, it's nothing. Take care and good luck. Well, let me brief you on your mission. Once you're on the surface of Ragol, check the status of the residential area. Checking the status of the central dome is a good idea. A transporter was launched earlier. You can go down to Ragol directly from the city. It may be a little risky, so please be careful. That's all. 
Um, excuse me. Oh, sorry. No, nothing. I wish you the best of luck. Alright, so. Let's, uh, check our... St God, it's been so long since I played this. I'm kind of trying to remember what all the buttons do. So let's see. Okay, so I start off with a frame, a handgun, a mag, which is like a little support unit. And, uh, 300 Meseta. So basically I ain't got shit. I think I can... Oh, well, let's see. Oh, I should have some... Okay, yeah, I do have some items. So, mono mate, basically anything mate is going to be a healing item, and then fluid is going to go for uh, restoring my mana, or in this, p in this case, uh, TP, uh, technique points, or tech points. I had 624 more on my save, I could get a rifle. So, yeah, I'm not really going to be able to afford anything right now. So, let's just head on down. Actually, you know what? We're going to do some quests first. You get a little bit of a jump on uh, the main story. Enrich your life. This is the Hunter's Guild. Welcome. God, her dead-eyed stare and badly drawn cleavage is just horrible. So, yeah, they didn't really come out with downloadable quests for this one. That was a shame, too. Uh, let's see. So we'll just go ahead and do this quest. So at first glance, it's a tiny bit, I guess, like Monster Hunter in similar games. Um, there's no, uh, there's no eating beforehand or anything. Um, so I guess maybe, well, I guess a better way to put that would be Monster Hunters like this. Kind of, sort of, and not really. So the cool thing about a lot of these quests is, uh, you know, you will be able to team up with people. Uh, this first quest really spoils you, though, because uh, they have you teaming up with a level 36 character who basically just wrecks shop on everything. But, you know, it's free money and experience, so who am I to judge? Section ID is working. Jeez, okay, it is really working. I better get some item drops. So my little mag thing here—it's kind of like a—it's uh, like a support pet. Uh, I can feed it items, and it'll grow with different stats. And those stats actually add themselves onto my own stats. So mags can be very useful. So yeah, he, having Kareek with me is going to spoil me because his damage output is a lot better than mine. And he'll basically just walk up to things and just... Although he's a little bit slow on the attack. I guess he wants to uh, give me a chance to kill things.
I love how my character holds her gun gangsta style. Cause you know, that's effective. If you don't take out these nests, they'll basically spit on an endless stream of those uh, flies. Which really sucks. They do take a bit to kill. It's always fun having this guy just stop you, but I mean, this is basically a tutorial quest, so. I guess that's also why they send such a high level character along with you. Well, high level for the time. Um, I think the max level is about 200. So, I mean, comparatively. Compared to my character, he's he's much higher level, but in the overall scheme of things, he's not that high level. I used to love playing this game, even back when I had it on Dreamcast. Especially when I had it on Dreamcast, I used to play this game online a lot. I was so happy when the GameCube version came out. Because then I didn't have to go online to play it. Which is good, because uh, the Dreamcast, well, let's see. Version 1 of the game on Dreamcast was free to play online. Version 2, which ran a bit slower, had bigger loading times. Um, if I remember correctly, it was not free. I don't remember how much per month it was. Uh, and then when the GameCube version came out, um, it was like 10 bucks a month, so you had to have a subscription called a Hunter's License. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, well, I mean, honestly, 10 bucks a month was not that bad. Um, so it was, it was pretty nice and cheap to play online, but it was nice that I could still play this offline with friends, even if I couldn't afford my Hunter's License. For, for What's wrong? Is it difficult to hit the enemies? No. I mean, granted, I could use some better weapons, but... I haven't really gotten any yet. I have found other handguns, but they're all normal quality, so their stats aren't going to be different. Ooh, he's fun. Yeah, all these handguns are exactly the same. Did get a better frame, though. No slots. So, so let's feed our mag really quick. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, hold up. So, you have to wait a few minutes between the feedings, but basically you can feed your little mag about three items per, uh, for every few minutes. And yeah, when your when your hunter's license would run out, it was uh, badly translated. So it wouldn't say you know your hunter's license is currently suspended or whatnot. Whatnot. It would tell you that your hunter's license was cuts. Not cut. Cuts. Which my friends and I always got a kick out of. Wolf creatures are kind of neat. If the uh, the alpha is around and it dies, um, all the other wolves that are still around will actually debuff themselves because the damn thing died. Like that. They'll actually lower their own offensive defense when they have it. I guess they're just sad that their alpha died. Yeah, if you're just joining us, welcome to the stream. I finally have a, uh, finally have an actual schedule, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. So this this Thursday's game, as you can see, is Fantasy Star Online for the Nintendo GameCube, and uh, I'm gonna at least stream for a couple hours, or at the very least try and uh, make it to and defeat the dragon. I just wanna level up a little bit first and get some better gear before I decide to do that, because that dragon will wipe you out. Like, one shot. It's not even you. Oh, what do you want now, Greek? Here's a simple battle tip. Don't suck. It's probably going to be a bit before I start finding any special weapons. Saber. I can't even use yet. Oh, what now? Oh my god, yes, I know the buttons. I know the buttons, Marie. Thank you, Marie. Thank you very much. Can I feed my mag again yet? I cannot. I think this quest only goes through one part. Ooh, I just shot that Booma in the face. <coughs> yeah, your character will kind of track the enemies a little bit, but... For the most part, you're pretty much in control of your own aim. The data disk. No, I guess not. Okay. I thought there was some item boxes in this room, but I guess not right now. Normally there are. Completed the quest, but then, you know, dropped the data disk about 15 feet away. Yep. At least he admits he dropped the disk. So we just completed our first quest. I just gotta go turn it in.
first. Yeah, you know, actually, I'll wait until I get my reward. I can do all my shopping all at once. This is the Hunter's Guild. Ooh. 500 was there. Okay, that's even better than the 50 I thought it was. Alright, so I've got some money. Plus whatever I picked up down there. Uh, so I've got a little over a thousand. I could probably go buy something. <coughs> Maybe a, a rifle. And I've got stuff to sell too, so... Let's, uh, let's do a little shopping real quick before we move on to our next adventure. Ooh, a mono wagon. Why did I pick that up? Regardless, that is getting saved. Ooh. Back all the way out. Let's see. Oh, you get, let's see. A rifle will do a lot more damage. What does this handgun have? Five percent against native. Okay, so there's four different enemy types in this game. Um, one type for each area in episode one. Uh, area one, the forest has native creatures. Uh, area two, the caves has altered beasts. Get it? Because it's Sega. Um, Area 3, the mines has machines, and uh, Area 4, which I... I don't remember what it's called. Oh, the ruins. Area, area 4 is the ruins, and it has dark creatures. So we won't have to worry about dark right now. Um, kind of want a rifle just for the range and better damage. But maybe I'll go with a handgun right now because that'll give me an extra bonus against the creatures down here. So, yeah, we'll go with the handgun. And we'll sell our old handgun. And I'm not going to worry about buying anything else right now. I'm sure I'll find some more equipment down there. So, I'll just visit the bank really quick. And put our money away, because we can end up dropping our money when we die. So, uh, let's see. Do I want to do another quest? Or should I just head down to the surface? Let's do another quest really quick. So, let's see. Claiming a stake or magnitude of metal. Seven hundred Meseda or five hundred Meseda. This one might be a little bit quicker. Let's let's do this. Are you the ranger from the guild? I'm Garon, a trader. I want you to go down to Ragol and retrieve my lost items. It's really important. A business opportunity the likes of which no one has seen before. I'm sure I'll become a zillionaire when I get it all back. That useless ranger said that an android took them. Find that android and get back my items. Understand? If you need any more info, ask that stupid incompetent ranger. Where is that stupid incompetent ranger? Oh, this guy. Garon's commodity. Ah, oh, they're just mags. Garon happened to find out that mags could be found on the ground. He asked me to collect some for him. I accepted it for the Meseda. 
I collected enough mags on Rigel to make everyone happy, but then I thought about the mags and the hunters who used them before. Mags are just protectors invented by a scientist. But we're given one when we become hunters. It's kind of tradition. Mags are an essential piece of equipment for hunters, right? When I was thinking this, an android appeared, and it was right then. It was right, though. Garen shouldn't use them to get Maceda. Although that's exactly what I'll do if I find other mags. I'll probably just sell them. Now, if I remember right, I think this, uh... I think this ranger that they're talking about might be Eleanor. Guess we'll find out. Let's see. Oh, there's some boxes. <coughs> Anti-paralysis, yes. Oh, I think I can... Oh, I can't give it items right now. Okay. I don't remember how long I'm, I have to wait between feedings. Yeah, you definitely want to pay attention to your mag and feed it when you can. Ooh. So, of course, you know, I get a handgun after I just bought a handgun. Sad, but lower overall damage. Let's give that a try and see how that works. Maybe now I can feed my mag? Nope. Ooh, armor. Barrier and a shield. Or a handgun, I mean. Barrier is a shield. That gives a little more protection. Though I really haven't been taking any damage. This is my first uh, solo quest, I believe. At least starting off. So I don't have the uh, uber powerful Kariq with me anymore. Another hand that I that seemed to do a little bit more damage. I guess the loss of overall raw damage has been made up for the by the fact that this has 10% against native instead of just 5. <coughs> Who knows, maybe I'll find something better along the way. Or maybe I can buy a rifle when I get back. so adorable. And the only way to get the items off of these is if uh, you hit them as they're running away. Like that. Ooh, that one dropped armor. Sounds like some kind of, uh, kind of like a health food or something. Kind of like calorie meat. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely need a stronger weapon by the time I reach the dragon. 
Ooh, hell yeah. So if you see a red box, it's a rare item. That is gonna boom his right arm. Which I think I yeah, that's used I have to I have to do a certain quest and then a guy will actually craft weapons for me out of uh, monster parts. Let's see. Yeah, that's not very good. Ooh, that one's got a slot on it. Uh, it's got slightly lower evasion, but you know what? If I find a unit, that'll come in handy. Let's go hunting for some more items. Let's take this little detour here. Yeah, I was not expecting to get that Booma armor. That is nice. Ooh, long atomizer. That'll be nice to see my little mag later. The graphics may not have aged super well, but these backgrounds are still pretty nice looking. Oh, it is Eleanor. Well, one's still missing. I was surprised. Ah, excuse me, but have you seen a mag around here? What? You came here to retrieve mags? No, no, I didn't mean to take them from the ranger. But they all looked so sad, so I just started talking to them. And they looked very happy. I just wanted to say hello. But they all wanted to come with me, and they chased after me. Then everyone returned to their master's place. They aren't here now. Only one mag was saying that it would come with me, but it disappeared. Sorry about that. Are you going to look for it? Let me join you. Maybe it didn't stray too far away from me. By the way, I'm Eleanor. Eleanor Camuel. I'm an android. Eleanor forced her way into your party. Da, 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 da. I guess that's the wrong fantasy game. Are you mad because I let the mags run away? I'm sorry. But please listen. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I talk a lot. And mags are intelligent. When a hunter equips a mag, it recognizes him or her as its master. Some mags are clever. They can protect or heal their masters. Moreover, some can do a lot of photon damage. Doc told me, but I forgot. Anyway, mags will try to help you if you're nice to them. Mags feel very sad when they lose their masters. So this quest is essentially the mag tutorial. That's all these first few quests really are, is just tutorials. This one teaches you about mags. Or if you don't care about that stuff, it teaches you how to do stuff for more money. Which is pretty important. Also, Eleanor, can I have your rifle? Because that looks like it's much better than what I Frame, the cane, and 
Let's see, can I speed my mag again? Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm gonna give it that Moon Atomizer. Oh yeah, the Atomizers are really good because they, they raise the mag stats across the board by a bit. Um, so yeah, when they reach certain levels, um, they will learn, in these slots, you'll get Photon Blasts. So if you notice, there's an empty meter around up in the, the upper left corner. There's, you know, where my health and stuff are. There's a little, there's a red uh, hexagon. And then there's a, a round meter that goes around that. Once I have a Photon Blast, when that meter fills up, and that'll fill up as I do damage or I think also get hit, uh, once that meter's full, if my mag has a Photon Blast, I can then use the Photon Blast, and it's generally some sort of area striking attack, which is very handy. Ooh, it leveled up again. So I think it learns the first Photon Blast at level 10. Ooh, that one's actually better than the one I have on. I don't have any units for it yet, though. It's going to be a bit before I find units. Units are very handy. They're kind of like... Uh... Well, if you've ever played uh, Diablo or World of Warcraft or Torchlight, um, units are kind of like gems. Um... Excuse me, I don't know if I should tell you this, but... Tank, your mag is hungry. It shouldn't be, I just fucking fed it. It's true. It's alive. It needs something to eat. And it's best to give a mag its favorite item. Each mag has its own characteristics and its own favorite items. Some like monomate, others like diamate. To feed your mag, open the... They already know. Yeah, so the basic mag, you can pretty much feed it anything. Um, you do want to feed it certain items to get certain stats if you're going for certain mags. Uh, also, those specific mags can learn specific uh, photon blasts. There's one I particularly like called Sato. It's a little... Basically, it's a little robot kitty. Um, some of them can also look like wings as well, which are kind of cool. Um, I don't have my guide anymore, so I can't really see what to feed it. Um, I'll have to get... My friend, he's a fellow YouTuber, a uh, paper zombie. He's he's holding on to a bunch of my stuff down in Bakersfield, and I believe he has my Fantasy Star Online guide. Um, I know I could look this stuff up on GameFAQs or something, but eh, I'll just I'll, I'll just go in blind right now. How do you not know how you can communicate with mags? You silly little robot. She looks like a robot maid. She's even got a little, uh... Can't really see it. There we go. Yeah, she's got like a little maid headdress too. A little robo-maid. Adorable. Isn't this where I came from? This is where I came from. Did I miss a thing? I think I missed a thing. Pretty sure I missed a thing. I had to have missed a teleporter somewhere. I think. I feel so lost now. Let me just backtrack a little bit. Completed the quest yet. So I went 
this way. It's not a big map, so you wouldn't think I'd get lost. So, that was the room I met Eleanor in. Yeah, I just made a freaking loop. I am lost. Maybe I have to. Maybe I have to find her and go. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh yeah. So here's the energy charging thing I was talking about. When mags get damaged, they charge energy to endure the pain. Charge energy can be converted to a photon blast. But I'm not sure. When the energy is fully charged, the mag tells you to use the power. The power. Okay. I guess I did just have to backtrack to the beginning. I should get Eleanor. Hey, there it is. There, over there. Can you see it? Well, now I can. Got missing bag. Hi again. I see. It visited its ex master to say bye bye. Now it's done. It says that it wants to have a new master. See? Mags prefer a master that loves them. Tink, please take care of your mag. If you don't, I'll fucking kill you. Even if you can't hear its voice, know that it understands you. Okay, bye, creepy robot maid girl. Oh, there you are. I don't even have a mag. Okay, so I guess that was the end of the quest. I just had to find Eleanor and go in circles for a bit. What? This is the only one? Their masters were already... dead. Killed them. Anyway, you can get your Mercedes at the guild. Your job is finished. You've been awarded 500 Mercedes. Okay, so let's do a little more shopping and then I think. I think we should be okay to just head on with the, with the, the main story. Let's go see if we can get a rifle. A unit would be awesome, but I'm pretty sure I can't buy units yet. I don't think those actually start appearing until the, uh, the cave. Oh, actually. I do want to put a grinder away. Um, actually. I can't use these spells just yet, anyway. Uh, Resta, I do want to hang. No, oh, I need to use rest. Oh, I need a lot more mind. So, you know, I am going to put rest away. It's going to be a bit before I can use that. towards all towards uh, native rather. So I hope you guys are liking this so far. Um, I know Cody's not on here for me to uh, banter back and forth with. So it's pretty much just you guys and me. And I'm the only one talking. But that's okay. Psy armor. Is it Gangnam style? Sorry, I know that was a bad joke. Okay. 
Can't get any better armor yet. of Holland teammate, which uh, isn't going to be a problem here because I'm playing by myself. But you know what? I will get a few of these to uh, feed to my mags. And I'll buy some. So now I've got a rifle. I feel more confident now that I've got a, a better weapon. So let's just head on down to the surface. And we can play with this loading screen too. Wee! Do 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 do. Aw, oh, it didn't last. I'm gonna start doing my really bad Doctor Who theme. The great thing about the rifle, not only is it more powerful, but it gives me some more range, too. A bit better than the handgun. Notice my weapon has two attacks so far. Um, if you get a weapon with an element on it, it'll actually gain a third one. Um, you got your your basic little attack. Not too strong. Pretty accurate. Uh, your next one, a little stronger attack, but not as accurate. And your special attack is horribly inaccurate. But if it does hit, um, it's usually some kind of element. usually worry too much about those. Um, I just kind of go for raw power. Uh, the only time I really worry about elements is if I'm playing a force and then I'll, you know, I just use the appropriate spells. <coughs> Weapons, raw power zone. Okay. Kalki does not like moon atomizers very much. So here's my first photon blast. Estla. A linear attack that strikes enemies in front. Oh yeah, I think this is the uh, the dolphin. You guys will hopefully get to see these photon blasts. I'll try and stay down here long enough to show one off. Uh, if you go anytime you go back to the ship or die, you'll lose all your photon energy charge. And that's not fun. Okay, so I guess it's... Okay, I, I believe I gain a little bit. It looks like when I... Yeah, whatever... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll gain it kind of slowly as I hit things. I think it's... It builds up faster if I actually get hit. 
Yeah, I just took some damage, so... I gained a lot more Photon Energy that way, but... You don't always want to get hit. Uh, that's not really... It is and isn't the best way to build up Photon Energy. It's definitely faster, but... Um, also leads to uh, death by monster. That's no good. that pop up to you. Don't show your back to a savage wolf. It'll attack if it sees this opening. Okay. Kalki likes to eat, since those moon atomizers aren't going to do quite as much. It's still fun. Um, I do wish I had people to play with. Uh, the online servers, uh, of course, since this is a GameCube game, the online servers have long since shut down. But uh, it would be cool to have friends here to play with. Small map, and I still get turned around. So, let's see. Um, it's got good defense. I'm not using mono fluids as much, so. I did not like those. Antidote? That's decent for decks. So close to leveling up again from the defense. Oh, well. It's okay. It will level up next time. Ah, fucking Monast. God, I hate these things. Well, at least a little flies. I 
it's going to be a bit before I can use that armor. How is everyone tonight? I know some of you may not be signed in and probably can't answer, but I'm asking anyway. How is everyone tonight? I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing as well as I can. Kind of a long day at work. Nothing bad. Just, just a long day at work. I'm gonna try to go to bed a little earlier tonight. I've been staying up till one lately. And I'll sleep through the night the last couple of days, but uh, not actually getting a lot of rest out of it. And, uh, that's just no fun. Ooh, these sabers are actually better damage-wise. Oh, I defeated again. Dex is definitely something you want for a ranger. I'm kind of starting to run into a problem. My inventory is getting full, so I do need to head back to Pioneer 2 and sell stuff. But the problem is, once I go back up there, my photon gauge is going to empty. Say to the guy he captured, die, mate. Okay, yeah, that was bad. Dad jokes, I got him. But I mean, I'm a dad, so it's pretty sure it's a requirement. I think it's in the rules somewhere. If you're a dad, you have to have four or awful dad jokes. And I have those. Ah, yes. Cool. First pillar. So these are important. Uh, so each of the first three areas, the mines, the caves, and the forest, um, all have one of these pillars. And the pillar has to be activated in each area. Otherwise, you can't get into the ruins. And that means you have to backtrack and find the pillar. Uh, the pillar is always located in the second uh, section of each little sub area. But these these map layouts, um, 
Well, the force always has the static. Uh, no matter what, the first two sections of the force are always the same. Uh, the allowable directions may change uh, for the doors to unlock, but the layouts themselves are always the same. Uh, they don't really start changing until uh, you get into the caves, and then the layouts will, will change on you. Um, it's random what layout you get, but the layouts themselves are fairly static. Um, so the guide I was talking about earlier does have maps to, or maps of rather, all the available layouts. So you basically just got to figure out what layouts you're on and then, you know, find the map to use uh, if you're using maps. Um, the items are always random and it's not necessarily gonna, the map doesn't necessarily show you where treasure chests are. You kind of just get a feel of, you know, well, damn near every room is gonna have treasure chests in it. So. Treasure's not a problem. Um, there's no set, I mean, there's no set treasures. It's not like, oh, this chest in this room is always gonna be, you know, this item. It's just, it's up to the game. That part's random. Now I can move that way. Rappy. Oh, that one towards the Rappy. And shoot it in the face. Right now, even though it doesn't have a slot, it's better defense-wise, so probably better to go with that. I think I missed that rapid. Oh well. Uh, can I feed my mag now? Yes, I can. Oh, that actually lowered the mine. So. I don't want to boost the mind up a little bit. And I hit the wrong item. That's okay. How am I doing on space? I am just about full. Yeah, this early on defense is better. Not don't have to worry about slots. Too much this early on, because you're not gonna find any units to put on there this early, unless you get them from another character. This is a photon blast. Yep, it's the dolphin. Okay, I was right about that. And uh, photon blasts are pretty powerful, as you can see. Let's see, how we're doing on space. I can pick up two more items. So now that I've used my photon blast, I will be heading back up to the ship just to sell stuff. It'll be nice to see if I can get some better.
That's I got some handguns and nothing. Nothing fancy. I can equip a shield. So this is an ice spell. Uh, although the ice spells kind of suck in this game, so um, I'm gonna save my money on that. Down we go. Okay. What am I locking on to? enemies you'll run into. Roughly humanoid. Uh, well, okay. Bipedal enemies. Um, in each area that do have... They'll have... They'll usually have like three types um, that you'll run into. Uh, for the forest, it's the Boomas, Go Boomas, and Giga Boomas. Um, for the caves, it's... Uh, it's weird bipedal sharks. I guess they do kind of look like sharks now. Um, the mines don't really have that too much. Uh, you won't really run into it again until the ruins. And I'm trying to remember what they're called. Oh, Dominions, I think. Yeah, they were dark creatures. Black with neon lighting. It's gonna be a while before I get there. That, that won't be this stream. Maybe another stream like oh okay. Kill the bear. These things suck. They're large, they hit hard, they have a lot of health, and they spit fire. They are dialon, they spit hot fire. that. Gameplay isn't fantastic in this game, uh, unless you, you know, play a force. 
It's basically just swing, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, the only the best variety is definitely uh, from playing a force. But forces are squishy. And not fantastic early game. If I was going to play a force, I would have transferred a bunch of stuff over from another character. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, goodness. Yeah, forces are super squishy. Um, if you're just playing this for the first time or haven't played in a while like myself, and you're playing by yourself, uh, you probably don't want to go with force. They're not physically strong. You know, it, it's a mage, you know? Low health, low strength. Very reliant on magic. And... You're not going to run into a lot of that at the beginning of the game. Uh, forces are very expensive classes to maintain. So, yeah, if I, if I was playing, if I was here playing this with a friend, um, I probably actually would have gone with the Force. Rangers and Hunters are pretty good to start off with. Where do you go? Oh, you go here. I'm not ready to be here yet. Uh, is there a door switch down here? There is. Yeah. I want to explore. There's one other room I want to get up first before I go up there. I probably also want to gain another level before I head up there, because that's getting close to the boss. Oops. Take a quick drink. Don't mind me. One other thing I kind of forgot about this game, the camera is not great. Um, as far as control, I mean, the camera itself isn't that horrible, it's just you pretty much have no control over it other than centering it behind yourself. There's really no... You really can't look around unless you move yourself around a lot. That's just not good. Um, but I mean, that's something they kind of... It's kind of a holdover from the Dreamcast version, because the... The, um, the directional pad was used for your little shout-outs. And of course, the stick... That's to move you around, and the Dreamcast only had the directional pad and the stick. It didn't have another analog stick or anything. The uh, you know the GameCube controller has the C stick, and I don't remember what it's used for in this game. I want to say it was used for more. Uh... I want to say it was used for more shoutouts, but I don't remember. Oh, see, the C-Stick I can, I can use to move around on the keyboard here. Uh, what's cool is you can actually, much like on the Dreamcast, you could actually get a GameCube keyboard, uh, which is really just a PS2 keyboard, uh, not PlayStation 2 keyboard, but a, an actual computer keyboard uh, that plugged into a little adapter that would then plug into the controller port on your GameCube. So that was handy. I don't know what happened to that adapter. I don't even remember if I sold that when I sold my first GameCube, or rather my second GameCube. Uh, I might have lost it, I, it just didn't get sold. I don't know. I don't remember what happened to it. I'm sure if I dug deeply on Amazon or 
eBay, I could probably find another adapter, and it probably cost me a lot, and I really don't have any reason to have one, because, like I said, these, these servers are down. They don't exist anymore. Um, I'm sure there's private servers to play on. Um, I don't have a modem for this GameCube, though, so... Trying to get online even on a private server is kind of a moot point anyway. Because I don't have the uh, item necessary to get online. If I had something to plug into the bottom of my GameCube, I'd prefer it be a, uh, a Game Boy Advance player. I'd love to get my hands on um, Although I guess I don't need one quite as much now. Um, I was really wanting one before, because the only version of Final Fantasy VI that I had was the Game Boy Advance version, and I wanted to be able to play it on a, a TV screen. And uh, I actually have the, the Super Nintendo and Super Famicom versions of Final Fantasy VI uh, playable on my Super Nintendo, as well as a reproduction cartridge of... Uh, the Final Fantasy VI ROM pack. So, yeah, I don't really need the Super Game Boy anymore. Uh, it'd be cool to have, though. Um, just trying to find one together with the disc uh, is a real pain in the ass. Uh, going on Amazon, you can find the Game Boy player, or the, yeah, the Game Boy player uh, itself for a fairly reasonable price. Um, but it, it won't come with a disc. You needed a loading disc to use it. And uh, that disc is always sold separately for like twice as much as the Game Boy Player at its cheapest. Um, but again, I don't really, it's not something I really need as much since I have the Super Nintendo version and Super Cam translated Super Famicom version of 6. So. Um, I do like the Game Boy Advance version, though. Know? It's got those extra dungeons and the extra espers. Um, I'd like to get the PlayStation 1 version just to have all the uh, console versions of the game. Because that is my favorite game. I know it's not really on topic for Fantasy Star, but I don't know. Um, I know there's the mobile version and the Steam version, which is just a Steam port of the mobile version, and I don't like how those look or control, so I will be skipping those. Um, which I hate saying that about any version that is my favorite game of all time. But, you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. So let's go back up and empty our bags really quick. Refill our heat healing items, see if we can get a better rifle. I was hoping to hit level 5 before I went after that dragon, but I guess no dice. Yeah, it happens. I, I think I can take I think. We'll find out. Ooh, a 
heat handgun. Ooh, a better rifle. There's two more points of that. You know what? Oh, I can't afford it. Can't afford it. A little bit short. Can I sell something? You know what? I could, I could just unload it with my rifle. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna sell that frame. Um, I think I'm gonna want more more remains than that. So, um, you know, we'll sell the marine atomizers. That can get me three more trimates or monomates. Which is exactly enough to fill me up. Okay, so I don't have much money on me, so I'm not even gonna worry about putting it. Through a little Doctor Who portal here. Drop our telepipe in case we die. <sighs> Under the Dome, which is not a sequel to Biodome. Take a drink really quick here. My chest is feeling kind of tight tonight. I don't like that. I think I'm just tired and a little worn out. Don't get old, boys and girls. And if you do, which you will, that's part of life, take care of yourselves. I I don't take very good care of myself. And, um... I'm not in the best shape. Um, sorry, I don't mean to get all maudlin on you, but just... As you get older, just please, just take care of yourselves. Don't, don't be an old crow. Be someone healthy. Or if you're going to be an old crow, eat something healthy. Take care of yourselves. That, that's my message. Shooting things in the head is a good. Ow. Just coming in contact with this thing sucks. Oh, what it's gonna do is burn. Nope. That's a fireball. Oh, 
Oh no, he's not doing his burrowing attack. There's his burrowing attack. Okay. Yeah, this part sucks because it does so much damage. Suck photon blast. <coughs> yeah, photon blast kill. That's good because I only had three monomates left. Oh, and I love that. Sweet. Okay, so where did the dragon go? Star item. Let's just continue with it. Yeah, the ultimate version of this dragon sucks because it's a big frickin' ice wreck. Yeah, all the, the bosses and enemies on the, There's four different difficulties. There's normal, uh, hard, I think extreme is the third one. If there's a third one. And, sorry, my word is called extreme. I don't remember what the third one's called. Then the fourth is Ultimate. Uh, Ultimate came along with uh, version 2 on the Dreamcast. And, uh, oh, is that all the treasure chests? I guess that's it. Okay, but there was one. Um, yeah, Ultimate Difficulty came along with version 2 on the Dreamcast. And, uh, it was Ultimate. <laughs> it was a lot harder. Uh, I raised the level cap to 200 from 100 in version 1. Um, the areas are the same, but a little different. Um, the forest is kind of a... It went from being a just kind of morning, mid or mid to... or mid-morning, early afternoon setting to more of a, a sunset. Um, and all the... all the bardas... or bardas... all the boomas were replaced with giant turtles. Um, so yeah, a lot of the enemies change. Uh, until you get to the ruins, all the enemies in the ruins are still the same. And uh, all the bosses change up a bit, too. Um, like I said, the dragon turns into an ice dragon, and you're in the middle of an ice field. Um, 
and its, it's attack patterns even change. So let's go see the principal. I don't know why he's called the principal. <coughs> the, the dragon, did it attack you? No, we had tea and cookies. Do you think the native animals on Regal attacked Pioneer 1 to defend their territory? It's possible, but why did it happen all of a sudden? Continue investigating, please. A huge dragon? No data. Pioneer 1 didn't mention it in their report. We didn't know that Regal was such a dangerous planet. When our ship was led by the signal from Pioneer 1 to land on Ragol, we saw that strange explosion. Pioneer 2 decided to orbit Ragol and collect data before landing on the surface. That was informative. This is just between us, okay? I am not putting on deodorant ever again. The principal's daughter was on Pioneer 1. After that explosion, he's been constantly worrying about her. He can't even sleep. This is a personal request. If it's possible, find out what happened to her. He isn't in a position to ask you such a personal favor. Red Ring Rico. A famous hunter and a top scientist on Pioneer One. Rico's his only daughter. Please look for her. I mean, I guess. That's the thing I could do. Unfortunately, I didn't really get anything of interest from the, uh, from the dragon. I mean, his dagger plus two would have been nice if I was a hunter instead of a ranger. That's okay. I'll just feed my knife instead. I'll feed it the star atomizer. And I guess the power's about to go up, so I'll just feed it the trimate too. Oh, but it has a slot. Kinda... Oh. <laughs> I can't get it. I don't have enough Maceda. Okay, so... Yeah, I didn't get a whole lot off of that dragon. That's a shame. Um... Oh, I can... Like 15 MST short. Oh well. Might as well learn these spells that have them. So I'll stream for another 15 minutes. I'll show you guys a little bit of the uh, the caves, and we can check that out. Cave one. Then we go down our Doctor Who pipe again. Uh, it's the eighth Doctor. We'll just, we'll just say that. So this is the caves. It's very cave-like. Evil shark. Wow, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage on these things. I think I definitely want a better weapon before I come down here again. Oh, I killed one. More 
are evil sharks. Ooh, a, a cow shark. Not my pal. Uh, these fucking flowers. Okay, so these flowers on ultimate suck. Because they they spit out a spell called Megid, which is basically an instant death spell. Yeah, I think I'll just uh, I'll clear this room and then call it a night on the stream. I am Illidan was right, I am not prepared for this. <laughs> And I'm losing. At least I'm doing decent damage on the flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and head back up. I'm gonna call this a night, though. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I haven't played this game in a long time. Um, well, that's kinda sorta true. Um, I did play it a few months back, uh, just transferring items around, but I didn't actually play it, play it. Um, so as far as playing it, playing it, I haven't really played it, played it uh, since I lived in Bakersfield. Um, I live in Oregon now. And I'll have been up here, uh, wow, I'll have been in Oregon three years come September. So, yeah, it, it's been a while since I've played this. Um, but thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate you coming out to check me out. Um, Tomorrow night is Arlen Yuki's night, so if you're subscribed to his channel, go check him out tomorrow. I'm not sure what time he's uh, streaming. Saturday... What am I streaming on Saturday? Saturday, I'll be back. And I will be streaming... Oh, yeah. So this Saturday, I'll be actually be streaming Marvel Heroes Omega on the PlayStation 4. Um, I think my friend Paper Zombie is going to join me for that. Um... Don't know if anybody else will, but please come and, you know, come and watch, uh, and I'll see you guys then. Thanks so much.